Hey guys, Cronus here, back with some more Steam World Quest. Um, yeah, you'll notice Coliseum the Cursed is uh, not complete here yet, because uh, I haven't been able to complete it yet. I'm having trouble getting past the fight after the Shadow Dragon, even the Shadow Dragon himself. It's just trying to find a good balance between a healing team and a damaging team and a status dealing team. It's just, it's a lot. So I've been stuck there. And I've burned a lot of items trying to get it. So we're just going to go ahead and do a behemoth and see if we get anything cool that helps us. So let's move on. Chapter 19. Behemoth. Oh, elevator music. Nice. A little on the awkward side, but okay. Of course she's here. Why wouldn't she be here? She should be like the best hero of all time. Wait, is she an actual creature? She has fur. Hmm, anyway. Do ye now? Do you remarkably have new stuff for me? No. No weapons. Oh, the twins had a new... Oh, that's right, but they're balanced. Alright, nothing new there. Ooh, new accessories! Oh my god! See, I should have just come here. Look at this. Strength 30, health. Oh my god. Well, here's how I'm going to beat the challenge. Well, for now, though, I think we're going to get the Fierce Deity Bead. Because I actually don't have a Copernic in my party right now. But this one would help Auric do some insane things. Uh, yeah, let's... Nah, let's just do this. Do what I'm used to. How much health does he lose if I do that? It's a lot, but... <laughs> that just balances him out with Armory for the most part. Oh yeah, Armelie's new deck build is very fire-esque, but I kind of removed that. Because this is her new default attack, because it's 300 stronger than just a regular slice. And actually, thinking about it, I need to take those off, because that was set up for when I was doing... The battles. I uh, don't really need to do that. I guess we'll just put her back to boosting everyone's strength. I don't know if my healing's enough, though. That's what I'm really worried about right now. But! Let's go. Okay, then. This is definitely not the final battle. <laughs> 
Are you kidding me? I hate when they do that. All right, we're just doing this to get the uh, the extra. Whoa. Well, since I have an extra card. Jeez. Jeez. What the hell's all that? Apparently pissed him off enough. Is he going to get crushed by it? Oh, it's going to eat him. Or just absorb him in the darkness. At least give me a full heal before this battle starts. Yay, full heal. Can I go back and save? Didn't need your full heal. Well then, here we go, into the fray. Well then. Oh, it counters. Alright, before I attack... I 
Of course, the one robot's attack with lightning is or storm is super resistant to storm. Boo! Alright, so we'll come back to you. I just... The way... How easy that was to kill. It, it's gonna have the stupid regeneration crap, isn't it? Hmm. You know what? Let's pop these and see what I get. Okay. Yeah, Bushido on Armory is the best choice. Yeah, see, it's stuff like this that makes me suspicious of the game. Something's going on here. Uh, we'll burn that. Wait, why can I still target the hands? Either way. Buddy Boy has a lot of health. Mm, choices. Ah, more choices. Wait, which one's the one that's... Okay, he has magic counter. Okay, so I want to beat this one up and use magic on the other one. Got it. the card I wanted. Could you not? You're about to die, arm. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. 
Is that everyone? No, it's just Armory. There. Oh, okay, so it triggers it at HP health. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> huh. My microphone was acting weird for a second there, so I hope it wasn't on mute this whole time. So we'll find out. Yeah, we want to keep that. Dang. Okay, that works too. Ah, okay, it's refreshed myself. Okay, this one has a physical counter, this one has a magical counter. Oops. Oh, the mouth is open still. That's going to be a no from me. Holy crap. Holy crap. Could we not do that again? Oh my god. I'm just playing the Stay Alive game right now. Okay, that primal breath attack is really starting to piss me off. Ah, oh, but they're blind. And he's blind too. Okay, I think. The arm needs to die. One of the arms needs to die for me to do anything to this thing. So it's unblind Auric. And then it's like four thousand. Your magical counter, not your physical counter. Okay, so we'll attack that with that. Okay. This should make life slightly easier. Now we gotta kill the other one. Jesus Christ. He does not like Armily. I should have gone back to farm more repair elixirs. Oh god, really? Ugh. Okay, we're mostly back up now. Wait. That's magical gunner, right? Yeah, okay.
Ooh, very nice. Dang. You know what? Let's do that and try and kill it now. Holy crap, the resist was real. I didn't think it would be that bad. Ah, that's the attack I was trying to avoid. Because then he's going to focus Armily down. Told you. This is a bad idea. Ah, everything's AOE with this bastard. Christ. Okay. Son of a bitch, really? And I don't have a way to heal. All right, let's keep the twins alive. So close to dying. What? What? I'm not allowed to kill it? What the hell was that? What is happening? Honestly, what is happening? Okay. What am I missing here? can't run. I use true heroes on it. <sighs> Fuck you. Well, at least I got that. Oh, got it. Jeez. Whoops, pushed my button. Yo, 
Oh no, not the guild club. And how do you propose we handle that? Should we use the carcass to build the new guild hall? That'd be fun. That's a nice little epilogue. Keep the mask. I like the mask. Okay, let's make a golf course out of him. That's okay. Oh, Canary. I'm kind of sad he didn't join us. That would have been a fun little member. Oh, Duck! I've killed him so many times. Nice. And so ends the adventure for our heroes. At least, until next time. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a fun adventure. Like, I did get, get like, sidetracked with the Coliseum, so it kind of made me a little more powerful than I probably should have been against the last boss, but at the same time, that helped during the final fight, because the last boss was kind of stupid attacks at the end there. Like, initially, the Behemoth was really not that hard. You know, he, he was pretty, pretty pokeable. But at the end there, tr keep dropping those 100% attacks. Just, mmm. Mmm. That was annoying. But luckily, I bought a boatload of healing items beforehand. So, yay me. So the question is, do I wait out the credits, or do I not? The answer is yes and no. Well, I will watch the credits, because I love watching credits at the end of a good RPG. Like, I just get those feels of like, ha, ah, that was a fun adventure. What's next? And with this one, you know, yeah, I wouldn't mind them releasing a second one. Like, I want more adventures, and, you know, maybe we'll get some more characters, maybe... Um, 
maybe Canary will join us this time. Like, I think Canary would have been a fun addition to the team party. Like, you know, that would have been a fun character arc. There wasn't many of those, but it was, still would have been fun. But yeah, overall, the game was it was good. It's a good game. Um, it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, the turn-based RPG piece is, you know, not everyone's bag. And then when you add in the deck-building piece, and you know, it takes away the uh, press X factor of the game, which I, I really enjoyed, because you actually had to strategize which card you wanted to use and which you hope you're going to pull next turn. And, you know, it's a good way to, you know, keep turn-based and still revitalize everything. So, you know, it was cool. Uh, music was pretty good. Like, there was a couple of really, really good tracks. Uh, the Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh fight had a really good song, and that end song there was pretty nice. But, you know, overall, the soundtrack's nothing spectacular. You know, it's like, it's it's good, but it's not something I'm going to remember at the end. Like, I'll remember Gilgamesh, but overall, it's just a nice, aesthetically pleasing music, which goes with the world, but nothing special about it. But still good. But, yeah, characters were good. I liked the characters. Uh, I, I did not like that Gilgamesh was the last, quote-unquote, or the main villain, rather, because that was too obvious. You know, it's like, Hand of Gilgamesh. Like, oh, maybe it'll be something to do with Gilgamesh, but not Gilgamesh himself, but it was Gilgamesh himself. I didn't think I'd actually talk through all the credits. They're pretty short credits. But yeah, uh, I would say this game's a solid uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, could use a little bit of improvement here and there, but overall, it's fantastic. Like... If you like turn-based RPGs and you want to give yourself a try, give it a try. Anyway, it appears we're at the end of this quest. Uh, I'll probably still finish up Coliseum of the Curse. It may actually be out before this episode, so this sounds a bit weird now. Because I, I, you know, I still want to try and get that completed. And with those new items, <laughs> that'll probably push me over the limit. But I'll need to farm some more healing items, because I kind of used all of them. Anyway, I'll see you in the next Next Play, which we're still playing... Yeah, at this point, I'm still playing through Zelda and Metroid. I still have some more items to find and things to finish, but I'm almost done there. Uh, and then after that, I'm actually not sure what games to play, because I guess I'll go back to Zelda or Tetris and Smash for a while until I know what to do, until a new game comes out. Oh, but Samurai Spirits is coming out soon. I do want to play that, so that'll probably be my new Friday videos. Anyway, before I keep rambling, I'm going to say, so yeah, that's that. I'm Kronos, and until next time, you guys have yourself a great day.